An esteemed tribal elder will serve as Grand Marshal of this year's Old Spanish Days. We carried the announcement on our streaming channel and live during our News Channel Midday Show today. And News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live with that story. And John, it'll be educational as well. This is always a very special honor we look forward to as part of the Old Spanish Days activities. And this year, our Grand Marshal has significant ties dating back to the 1500s in our area. It's an honor as this year's Fiesta El Presidente to announce our 2023 Fiesta Parade Grand Marshal, Triber Elder for the Barbareño, Ernestine de Soto. At the Cabrillo Boulevard site known as Ambassador Park in Santa Barbara, a special Old Spanish Days honor is announced for the 2023 Grand Marshal, 84-year-old Ernestine Ignacio de Soto, who had ancestors on the same site known as the Sutun Indian Village. Ernestine's great-great-grandmother, her mother Mary Yee, was the last native speaker of the Shumash language. Ernestine has spent a lifetime keeping alive the culture of the Shumash. This location will be packed with thousands of people during the Fiesta Parade and Old Spanish Days is hoping it's a chance to educate the public about the Indian presence on the coast and when they were first recognized. The significance of making this announcement here at Ambassador Park is that this was once an Indian village first recorded by explorers in 1542. In 2016, Old Spanish Days also remember the Chumash with a poster that included a tamal on the ocean just off the same coastal spot. It was presented with a recreation of the tamal in the same ocean location with then Grand Marshal Jean-Michel Cousteau. Now in 2023, the public will again learn about the Barbareño Indians, deep connections in our area. We're reviving and we're trying to save not only ourselves, but all of you. We are now engaged in um, what do you call cultural circles where we are bringing back the foods, the basketry, the um, all the things that were utilized then. These days, our new Fiesta Grand Marshal is focusing on preserving the tribal heritage and the environment. I'm spending my time trying to, um, you know, what is it, uh, support all the uh, programs I'm called into, like the ocean preservation, creeks the environment above us, um, and, and that's what we do. Along with the Grand Marshal honor comes a prestigious place in the Fiesta Parade, El Desfile Historico. Ernestine will be riding in a carriage, very prominent as our parade Grand Marshal, accompanied by her, her nephew and, and, and daughter, niece, as well. It's going to be a great moment. I'll have an update on the Fiesta Parade before the week is over. And then this weekend, the Fiesta pin for this year is going to be unveiled at La Primavera, which is going to take place in downtown Santa Barbara and Casa de la Guerra and the El Paseo restaurant. So it's an exciting time to be rolling out some of these key aspects of Old Spanish Days coming up the first weekend in August. And of course, the theme this year is Let's Fiesta. Reporting live in Ambassador Park in Santa Barbara along the waterfront, I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. Science and tech news now. SpaceX launched another Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg today. Three, two, one. Engines full power and lift off of Starlink. Go Starlink, go Falcon. And that rocket launched at exactly 109 this afternoon. It carried a batch of 51 Starlink satellites into orbit. The first stage Falcon 9 booster returned back to Earth and landed on the drone ship called, of course, I Still Love You. That was waiting in the Pacific Ocean.